Because we're at home eating our crisps and drinking wine, watching you on the telly. You're away for a month. With no crisps with, or wine. With, with, <laughs> with no <laughs> <or> telly. <laughs> or telly. Which, which is hard enough itself. No phone, no contact with the outside world. So that's an incredibly difficult thing, just to walk away from and expect to go right back to, you know, as yeah. you were. But, you know, it's, uh, it, it's been the biggest blessing because, I, I honestly, if you, if you ever get a chance to just plonk yourself out of the world for a bit, yeah. do it. It's just so... It's so amazing. I thought I'd miss my phone. I thought I'd miss all these things. And I didn't because I was... And yet I was, you know, stripped of all these things that we have in our everyday lives, and yet I was the happiest I've ever mm. been. You'd quite like to go back yeah. in. Yeah, and because you don't have any of the stresses in there of everyday life. Sure. The stresses you have in there are just very little things. You know, we have to worry about... Food. Yeah. yeah. Food or like you but know you're not having being judged all yes. the time. Are the way you look? Yes, and what exactly. You say and what you do? No, you just have to worry about keeping a fire going and yeah. <laughs> worrying about you know if it, that people are okay in themselves and just you know and yeah. it, and we were having conversations. You know, no one was yeah. looking at their phone. You I just got seemed to know really them. happy in there and you got on yeah. well with everybody. Mm. Like you all seem to genuinely get on. Yeah. And yes. especially you and John had a really good oh. connection. Your relationship with John was John great. John makes me. He's that friend that just makes you. Belly line. I know. It makes you happy, so, doesn't it? We had to have a word with each other at one point. Go, we've got really? to stop like oh, so much. <laughs> stop it's liking so each funny. other so much. Yeah, because yeah. we'd just be sat in a corner like <laughs> screaming at. It's great them. to watch though. I, I love seeing people get on. I have to say that it's a great testament to you that I was sitting there with my daughter and her friends and all that. And my daughter, every time you came on and you were funny and the. Um, a little bush telegraph, yeah. and we'd be belly laughing at you. And my oh. daughter turned around and went, I need her to be my best friend. Oh, we oh. can be best friends. <laughs> but it is great. No, she's 17. Mm. And I think, I think young girls watching, you took the pressure off for them as well. Yeah, do you know what it was? I, I felt like I went cold turkey with everything. Mm. And I, I, I learned, it, it's going to sound really cheesy, but the only way I can describe it is that you learn about other beauties. Because mm. in, in this day and age, you know, with social media and everything, it's all about looking perfect. Yeah. Everybody's constantly comparing lives, mm. comparing photographs, comparing outfits. And in there, it, there's just absolutely none of that. There's so many different kinds of beauty, like Anne's mind, for example. Yeah, yeah. She's Incredible. just the most intelligent. She, she's one of the most beautiful women I've ever met because she's so bright. And mm. Fleur's determination and her talent and... But well, that's almost like everything else has to stop to make people focus yeah. on, on those yeah. things. But in that little after interview there, you said, I will never doubt myself again. Yeah, no. Has it really been that simple for you that three weeks of just being away from social media mm -hmm. has completely kind of like recalibrated you? Yeah, it completely has. I'm not, I promise you, I'm not just saying it. It's... I can't describe it. It's the weirdest thing. I, I've I've told myself my whole life that, and especially in this industry, it's mm. very it can be very fickle and it's. Well, you, you know, were struggling before you went in, weren't you? Yes. With your own um, self esteem. Oh, you so had a much. Panic attack before. Yeah, you went yeah. In. I um I had a difficult start to the year with a breakup and things like that, and my confidence was just so mm. so low. And I started um I I, saw, I was stuck in a bit of a rut. I didn't really know what I wanted to do with work. Mm. You know, it's hard and. And being a curvier girl as well, that makes being an actress quite difficult. You're not curvier, you're normal. Oh, no, you're normal. Exactly. You're normal. <laughs> what, what does that look say to you in the restaurant? Yeah. So it... he, and I, again, I promise this is true, I was, had a burger in my hand and he came up to me and went, I thought he was, he was just trying to be funny, I think. Mm. And, he, and he said, um, he went, no, put it down, um, starvation suits you or something. Oh. Yeah, so it's no that your, your new starvation suits you. He needs awesome. to go home and check out what being funny actually is. And your mum showed you us talking about you when oh, you yeah, and, and it made you cry oh, in a God. good way. In a good yeah. way. It's, it's not loose women <laughs> make Emily Atak cry. Not it was, like that. It in was a good so amazing because when you're away from home and you have zero contact with the world, you and when you're in there, you genuinely. Well, I didn't. I didn't think about back home at all. Mm. You sort of have to block yeah, it out a bit, course. otherwise you miss home and things. So you have no idea what people are what people are thinking of you. Mm. What people, you know. Well, in my head, I just I thought I just want to block the world out and not be judged for a bit. And and coming back to all these lovely, lovely comments, I can't believe it. And it was just it was as simple as just I was just being myself. Yeah. So to get that response by not really doing anything, just being myself, it's so like, lovely. Now you are back here, you know especially with social media, there are trolls and all of that that yeah. are going to be out there. And I, I really hope I sound like your parent here. Mm. I really hope it doesn't send you back to that, mm. you know, well, lack you, of self-esteem and just yeah. ignore them because you are... You're great! You're just brilliant.
I've decided on social media, and I this is I'm I'm this is promise what I'm doing. I'm deleting all my editing apps. So you know you can now you edit you can yeah. edit your pictures to, mm. like till you're blue in the face. I, I used to slim them down. I used to airbrush them. I did. Could I have that up instead? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did, and it was so bad to the point where you, you slim it down, but it, you get completely rumbled because the wall behind you is bent. <laughs> so, and it because it slims like the whole picture down. So I'm not doing that anymore. Everything that I upload, because uh, I, yeah, I do, I love Instagram and I love yeah. photography yeah. and yeah. I like. Putting now listen, up. I know you I'm loved sure Harry, as we all did. We all, in a way, wanted <laughs> Harry to win. Uh, but ha has Jamie called you yet? Oh, poor Jamie. <laughs> I see. I'm not even going out with him yet, and I've already ruined his life. <laughs> I love that. I love, I love you said yet. yet. <laughs> I'm not no. going out with him yet. Did oh, anyone stop that? Yes. Jamie, I'm so sorry if you're watching this. You poor Have thing. Have you ever met him? Um, I met him once. He actually asked me for a photo a few years ago because he's oh. an in between us fan. Oh. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, no, we'll see. At the moment, I'm just I'm I'm single and I'm yes, I'm happy. Yeah. I'm, yeah. And about diamond. Yeah. I funny. have known your mom for as long as I can remember, and she's the most brilliant impressionist. Did she actually teach you in a way, or did you grow up watching her doing it and then you just picked it up? Yeah. Because you're great at it. Oh, thank you. I think yeah, it just because it starts off as just a silly sort of party trick, I guess. What intrigues me about you because you talk about your confidence issues in the past, but. You're good, about to do a tour. Half the reason why I did the jungle is because I thought, right, I'm just going to throw myself into life now mm. and just sort of stick two fingers up to anyone who, who mm. doubts me and go, look, yeah. I'm just going to do this now. I'm going to do the jungle. I'm going to do a tour. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm 30 next year. Um, and, yeah, I just want to really start living my life without, without worrying about when silly things. What will be there? Yes. The tour's April. Do you know that's yeah. so interesting you say that because you're saying I'm 30 next year and I'm, I'm 50 next year and I'm feeling the same oh, in that I, I doing a tour is something I'm interested in, yeah. in which is mad because I sit here and I'm the quietest one out of everybody. But I think you you get to a point where you want I am the quietest one out <laughs> of everybody. <laughs> the person <laughs> guffawing in the background so they can't get a word in. <laughs> um, but you know it's that whole thing of sort of well you're reaching a key age and mm. putting yourself out there yeah. and frightening yourself a little bit, but in a good yeah, way. Yeah, scaring yourself. That's the mm. thing, and and even though I am, I'm terrified of all these things. Like in the jungle, I screamed a lot, as you know, because everything was terrifying. That snake was but actually coming after look, me. Well, that's oh, not no. good. But I didn't. I, I thought it was kind of analogy, an analogy oh, to my life, sort of going right. I might do it kicking and screaming, but I still get it yeah. done, and I can get through it, and I can get through pain. You've got to do an impression that. before you go. You have. Can you can you do us a quick Stacey? Quick do one. Stacey. Oh my God! Right, and I was saying to Joe, and like I was saying, I'm not going to shave my legs for ages, so I'm going to do this charity thing. And he's like, Oh my God! Like, what are you doing? <laughs> 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 I've just it's learned. Like, I've learned. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough hearing about that. <laughs> <laughs> I've just learned in life, it's so much better to just pull silly faces and dance really badly, because yes. that way is so it's much funny. more fun. Yeah. Yeah. So much more fun. So with None you of on that. <laughs> so, we've only got the last 30 seconds of the show. What are you doing for Christmas? Um, eating, drinking, <laughs> dancing yeah. very badly. Pulling yeah. silly faces. Yeah. Will you be family. at home? Yeah. yeah. I'll be with my family. Um, and, you know, Jamie, if you want to come over. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Amazing, I think. Oh, we might be able to put some feelers out. Oh, mm. God. That's well done, anyway. You oh. did a brilliant job. Thank you, Thank you so much.